Tonight we've confirmed that Kelsey could have been in jail last night, but instead of getting up to 20 years for a past crime, he was let out after just 40 days. Channel 2's Hannah McKenzie is live on Houston's south side where one of those shootings happened. Hannah? Lauren, Chris, this is where the first shooting took place. It was here in this empty church parking lot where police say Joshua Kelsey began his fatal crime spree, which they believe is drug related. A pile of broken glass. The only indication something amiss happened here in the parking lot of Abiding Missionary Baptist Church Wednesday night. Normally we would be here having a service, a Bible study service. Lead Pastor Jonathan Taylor describing the scene on Bridgeport Road and Danfield Drive when he arrived Thursday morning. This is where the blood uh, was in the gars and the oxygen hose and, and everything. This is where it was. Police say Kelsey then shot and killed two other men. One on Kelling Street, the other on Hooper Road, before he was taken into custody. A lengthy criminal rap sheet already. Kelsey's now charged with murder and capital murder. He was out free when he shouldn't have been, and now three people are dead. Dead! Joe Gamaldi, president of the Houston Police Officers Union, says Kelsey, who has half a dozen past felony convictions, was offered a plea deal by the district attorney's office. This document proving it. And the fact that he was caught as a felon in possession of a firearm with the enhancements that were already in place, he should have been looking at two to 20 years. And instead he got six months and he actually got time served for about 140 of those days. So he only did 40 days in jail. We asked Sean Tier with the DA's office why offer this habitual offender a plea deal. We're dealing with limited resources for the judges, limited resources in the courtrooms, limited resources at the DA's office. So. We don't have crystal balls. There's no way that anyone would envision that someone who doesn't have a typically violent past is going to go forward and commit this horrific murder spree. Tier did tell me the DA's office has asked that Kelsey be held on no bond. He also said with these new charges, Kelsey could be looking at life behind bars with no parole, even the death penalty. Reporting live on Houston's Southside, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC Channel 2 News.